All right, we're almost finished. You've done a great job. Uh, this is the last of our analysis uh, portion uh, of this exercise. So just to recap, thus far, we've identified a lie, a lie that Satan is using to enslave or destroy and damage our cultures. Then we've looked at how the lie is transmitted, how is it communicated, how is it reinforced. And from that point, we looked at behaviors, how does that lie shape the way people behave in their day-to-day -day lives? And then what are the consequences of those behaviors? What's the impact that the lie is having? And then just in our last segment, we looked at the historical roots. Where did these lies come from? What are the origins historically of these lies? And in this segment, what we're going to do is we're going to identify the truth. What is the truth that counters this lie? And we're going to use scripture as a support in this exercise. So let me give you an example. If the lie that you chose, again, was men are superior to women, how would you articulate the truth that counters that lie? Well, perhaps you would say, well, men and women are both equal in dignity and in value and in worth because they're made in God's image, both of them. So then where in scripture would you find support for that truth? Well, you might say, how about Genesis 1.27, where it teaches that God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them in his image. So that would be an example of scriptural support for the truth. And then where else in scripture could you find support or underpinning for the truth that counters the lie that you chose? It's very important that we know what the truth is. We, I've identified the lie, but what's the truth? And what I want you to do now is take time to articulate the truth that stands opposed to the lie. And I want you as well to cite passages in scripture, take time to research this, that support or that underpin that truth. So take some time, as much time as you need, and do it now before you go on to the uh, next and the final video segment.